The countdown is on to the start of the summer games and a form of dancing known as breaking is breaking down the barriers at the Olympics. It's being introduced for the first time and has many people excited about what this means for the future. CBS News' Don, John Diaz has the story. Let's go! 18-year-old Zakeli Grabowski has the dance moves with the energy to match it. It's definitely very freeing. And the New York City teen, who is an up-and-coming dancer known as a b-boy, brought his talents to train with Olympic coaches as a member of Teen Team USA. But I really enjoyed that adrenaline rush. Now, for the first time ever, he's looking forward to watching his idols perform in the 2024 Olympics, including Queens resident Sonny Choi. The Beat Girl spoke with CBS two years ago after breaking was finally approved for the Olympics. I can come here and just kind of let go and have fun and push myself physically. While it's the newest sport for the worldwide competition, it's not new to the general public. So you've been offering classes for how long? Over 15 years. Kelly Peters is the co-founder of the hip-hop dance studio Brickhouse NYC. He says B-boys and B-girls are just like any other athletes. They're training just as hard as the gymnasts. I hope that what happens from this is that our B-boys get a chance to live out their dreams in the same way that our BMXers and our snowboarders. It's been paying off for B-boy Gabriel Alvarez, who quit his full-time job to start up his company, Emphasis Entertainment, dancing at gigs. The income from breaking was way more than the one that was getting on my regular job. But he was shocked when his favorite thing to do made it to the Olympics. I always understood the impact that this dance had in people, but I never really could have imagined that it was going to get to that Olympic level. And he says is proud to witness history. From Washington Square Park, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. B-Boys going for the gold. Good luck.